Hello friends! Today you'll see how actors of the movie Weird Science have changed. You'll know their original names and age. I will show you how they looked then in 1985 and what's with them now in 2021. Don't forget to like and subscribe to the channel. Let's go! Gary Wallace is the main protagonist in the Weird Science movie as well as the TV series. In the film he is very academic like Wyatt. Gary is more ambitious party boy and obsessed with losing his virginity. Gary Wallace was ported by Anthony Michael Hall. Susan Snyder is an actress who is less tall but has the acting skills that stun the audience time after time. The most famous and successful movie of Snyder is Killer Clowns from Outer Space. In Weird Science, she played Deb, love interest of Gary Wallace. Wyatt Donnelly, Elon Mitchell Smith, is the secondary protagonist in the film. His best friend is Gary Wallace. He gets bullied often by his own older brother, Chet. Wyatt is more level headed and moral. He is quick to think about the consequences of their actions. Judith M. Aronson has appeared in many films and a television show. She played Sarah on the series Pursuit of Happiness. Her first film role was in the film Friday the 13th, the final chapter. In the film We Are Science, she played Hilly, love interest of Wyatt Donnelly. Hailed by many critics as one of the most brilliant and versatile actors of his generation, Robert Downey Jr chalked up a formidable on-screen track record that quickly launched the young thespian into the stratosphere. In the film We Are Science, he played Ian. Chad Donnelly, Bill Paxton, is the older brother of Wyatt Donnelly and lives at their suburban home. He is an overmatcher, secret champion marine who loves nothing more than tormenting his younger brother whom he considers to be small and weak. He also liked to extort money from Gary. Character actor Vernon Wells is best known to international audiences for his role of Wes in the 1981 science fiction action film Mad Max 2 The Road Warrior and Bennett in the military action film Commander 1985. In the film where science he played Lord General. Robert Bressler, who gained fame for his role as Ron Grady in the horror film A Nightmare on Elm Street 2 – Freddy's Revenge. He also appeared in the television film Stephen King's Sometimes They Come Back. But his first film role was Max in the hit comedy Weird Science. Michael Berryman, best known for his iconic roles in horror films. He was born with hyperhydrotic ectodermal dysplasia, a rare condition characterized by the absence of sweat glands, hair and fingernails. In the film Weird Science, he played a mutant biker as mutant number one. John Catalus, best known for his roles in the John Hughes iconic films Sixteen Candles and The Breakfast Club. Throughout his long and bright career, He's earned numerous recurring roles on popular television shows. In the film We Are Science, he played Dino. Jill Whitlow has achieved her greatest recognition during the 1980s. She's best remembered by American audiences for her role as Cynthia Cronenberg in the 1986 cult horror film Night of the Creeps. In the film We Are Science, she played perfume sales girl. Joe Gibb ported the post-atomic horror bell ringer in the Star Trek The Next Generation first season episode Encounter at Fairpoint. As a background performer, Gibb received no credit for his appearance. In the film We Are Science, he played Blob Operator. Leach's film and television career started in the early 70s. Leach's most memorable movie roles include boorish hick bartender Dan Alden in Jackson County Jail, hard-nosed Sergeant Cook 
in Night Warning and Anthony Michael Hall's Plumber Father in Weird Science. Mary Steele Smith debuted as Melody in John Rivers' film Rabbit Test 1978, with Doris Roberts playing her mother and Billy Crystal as her brother. Other films include Hots 1979 and Death Wally. In the film We Are Science, she played Girl in the Bathroom. Fred D. Scott relocated to Hollywood in the early 1970s and spent the next three decades appearing in commercials, television programs and films. Scott has appeared as Mr. Hastings in A Little Extra Security. In the film We Are Science, he played Bar Patron. Michael Robbins began his showbiz career in high school as director, writer, cameraman and on-air talent for the school's on-campus cable TV station. Then he became a DJ on local LA radio. He got his first principal role in Weird Science, working with John Hughes. James Lanham is best known for playing the role of Phil, the head writer, on the groundbreaking HBO series The Larry Sanders Show. He also played the role of David Hodges in the television series CSI, Crime Scene Investigation. In the film Weird Science, he played art. Jennifer Belgavin is an actress known for Ripper Man, 1984, Contact, 1997, Jennifer Corpus LT Prize in season one of Space Above and Beyond. In the film Weird Science, 1985, she played Biker Girl, Lord General's girlfriend, which he keeps on a chain. Rennie Probst, known for the role of Ellie Snyder on the CBS daytime soap opera As the World Turns, which she played for four years. She is also known to Seinfeld fans as Lois on the episode The Race from the 60th season. In the film Weird Science, she played the Winnie. Liza, Kelly LeBrock, was created by Gary and Wyatt because of the fact that they were the most unpopular in high school. They soon realized that it's not just a hot and sizzling woman they created. She also has amazing powers and abilities that she can use at will. Kevin Thompson is an actor who played Chabray, an Ewok that swung on a rope. He did most of the stunts as an Ewok, swinging into the village battling stormtroopers in Star Wars Episode 6 Return of the Jedi. In the film Weird Science, he played Blob Operator. Thank you for watching. If you like this video, please share it on social networks, like it, and of course subscribe to the channel.